What's up everyone? I am Magicide. Welcome back to our Geek Fest here playing our Crusader Kings 2 as Lombard Salerno. In our previous episode, we had a whole bunch of papal claims. We had a whole bunch of piety, and now we don't because we have claims and everything. And you wanna know what that means? It's time to go to war with our dreaded enemy, the Aztec Empire, once again. We're gonna take a slew of land from these guys. They have no allies. They've only got 11,000 troops. And they're still Catholic. You know, before we get into this war, I just wanted to say in a couple of episodes ago, I mentioned that I just exported my save file over and took a look, took a little peek in EU4 because since the Aztec Emperor here converted to Catholicism, I really wanted to know if the entire Aztec Empire was going to be Catholic, and they weren't. But one thing that I didn't check was the actual HRE itself. Since the HRE actually exists, I'm not sure what the situation here is with them. If, like, uh, some of their smaller groups around here are, like, electorates and whatnot. I don't know. It really doesn't make a difference to me. We're going to wipe them out eventually. Probably vassalize them at some point. That's not our priority. Our priority right now is war. We're gonna press all of our claims. Where's that? Press all claims, baby. Yep. And then we're gonna take our vassal ship levy and our wonderful 123,000 troops and let's do some damage. First of all, put them all in ships. The question is, is where do I actually want to put them? <laughs> I mean, we're going to war with them for so much. Their actual um, capital is over here. I think that's probably the best course of action. So why don't we do that? As far as, let's see here. All these, like, smaller stacks go. Uh, stand you guys down. I don't need you. Same thing with you guys. You guys can get stood down. And then all of you people come over here. And as far as any other troops go, um, I guess march you over here. Okay. And then, you know, the thing that sucks is that my retinue should probably go back home so they don't get aboard the ships. Don't want that. Don't want my retinue anywhere near this. Alright, you guys all come over here to Ireland. And then the rest of these troops can actually probably go to Genoa, I think. These small stacks. That works for me. And then as far as all of our troops over here in these territories. We'll sail over what we have, first of all, and then I think, first of all, let's take you guys. I'm not gonna need all these troops. Absolutely not. Um, why don't you guys all come over here to Ock, or Acre. Take all of you troops to swing on over here and pick you up just in case I actually need you. And I think we should be okay. Let's see here. Put you guys over here in Genoa. Alright, there we go. Let's get this on. Let's get it on! This will be a nice, quick, and easy war once I get all of my troops in place here. Alright, we've already got 14,000 troops. Let's go right over to his capital and uh, put over, or put my siege leader in charge.
And then we'll start assaulting here in a second. And let's, um... There's not enough territory f over here for me to actually just assault and then move on to some other province. There's only these two provinces over here. So we're going to keep our ships over here for the moment. Alright, so I group you guys up and have you guys assault, of course. Natch. I think after we're done with hunting, oh, you know what? Let's go for family. All right, and the rest of these guys can actually start over here. And there we go. Okay, so Desmond is next. Married to a niece of mine. Negative. Okay, is there any geniuses? None. Okay, how about quick? We have a six year old. Perfect. You guys group up and assault this, please. Alright, and since the game is still paused, let's take a look. Um, so we've got random bits of troops sitting around. I guess I'll have you guys come over here. Are you guys attacking somebody else? Come on, man. What the hell? Peace. You know, peace, damn it. And then as far as the rest of our armies go, we have all kinds of ships sitting over here. And as far as our armies over here in the Holy Land. Okay, you guys are still trying to merge. Fine. Go piss off. Okay, you guys can come over here too. Like I said, I don't really think I'm going to actually need all of these. All these troops. I'm gonna put them there anyways. I'm gonna keep assaulting. Get our glorious war score from the sieges. Alright, there we go. And as far as all of our ships here, let's uh, pick up our troops. Looks like we have a stack of Aztec troops up here. Let's go uh, harass them. guys are completely ready to get into some ships. Let's um, see you guys on over to the Holy Land to pick up the rest of them. My retinue, let's group you guys up actually and have you resign. Can I get any more retinue by the way? None? Okay. It's fine with me.
Attack! Attack! <laughs> That's right, get the hell out of here. It's my land. Mine. We'll assault this. We'll take care of their siege progress here. And then have you guys come on up to attack this stack. Because hell yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? Uh, we'll take improved keeps, please. We'll max that out. Next level of economic technology. We want construction. All right, and this actual stack here can be stood down. All right, 60,000 troops. 66,000 troops. Uh, hmm. Let's uh, reinforce over here, I suppose. Switch you guys up. Take this deck over here to deal with them. You guys can come over here to Westmoreland. Do some damage. Salt. Start assaulting here in a second. Wait, whoa, whoa. What are you guys doing? I'm over here. There we go. Getting more war score from battles. Always a good thing. I think we're going to win this war. If I was a betting man, which I'm not. I think we're going to win. And there it is. 100%. I'll take my land, Mr. Aztec Emperor. I know it's a lot for the game to process, but I want my land. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm going to actually save my game here and I'm going to do this in the interim and then I'll be right back I'll tell you guys that I'm going to click on all these buttons here and give off a whole bunch of titles away and then uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side alright everyone welcome back I distributed the titles and I was taking a look around the map a little bit and finding out what's what uh, we have some problems First of all, our heir, Prince Wussy here, who is a sheik, sucks terribly. I just excommunicated him, but he's down here. The Fatimids were smart. They actually gave him some land. He actually owns this county down here for Berbera. Berbera. I need to kill him. Absolutely. We don't want him to inherit. I have no idea how it happened, how he actually ended up getting land, but Prince Norm here is much, much better. Unfortunately, we're over our domain limit because the province in question, which is Dresden, is currently being sieged out by some sort of Germanic revolt. But I think what we need to do next, first of all, is declare war on the Fatimids. For this duchy down here. Which is the duchy of Ber 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 Berbera. 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 So we're going to do that. Uh, we want... Where is it at? Can we not have this duchy? Is that not a possibility? So what the hell? Yes. That's what I want right there. So let's declare war on this. Where is the... God damn it, where is it at? No. Oh, it's because... Of... God... Wow, okay. So I don't have any land down here, so I can't actually do it. 
But what I can do is claim it, since he's Catholic, and declare a war on them for that. I'll do that. I want him in my court so I can actually plot to kill this kid. The other thing is Molly down here. Let's take some more land away from them. I was thinking about the actual Duchy of Mali. Let's do that as well. And if we take a look at the pathetic Aztecs here, who now only have about 3,500 troops, and they're almost completely gone from Europe. They've got some Scandinavian land. They've got Iceland, or part of Iceland anyways. They've got a few provinces here and there, but we don't have to worry about that for a while. After I get my papal claim, we're going to declare war on the Fatimids for this province. So we can take it away from my son. From my shitty son. We can't have that. Okay, there's our claim. Let's make a move. Let's create some more kids. Okay, so I have just inherited some land. We're getting to that point now where we're almost running out of vassals. All right, so do we actually have any physicians? We do. Uh, we want this 26-year-old. And then, as far as the Fatimids go, let's declare war for that county. And then, of course, right back to war. So as far as all these armies go, um... Why don't you guys escape? Come over here. What I need to have happen is all of these troops come over here since I have that huge stack of ships. This should be a really quick and easy war as far as the war goal goes. But the rest of these guys are going to be kind of slightly difficult to actually corral. Okay, so all these ships... Why don't you guys uh, come over here first of all. And then the rest of them, I think we're just going to put them in ships and sail them on over here to take care, to take care of Molly, of course. Um, these ships can go somewhere. I don't, I don't care where. As far as the rest of the troops go, why don't you guys actually walk down here. You guys can walk up so you guys don't get crushed. And then the rest of these troops, let's put them on ships and do the same thing. I'm not really worried about the Fatimids. Let's take a look at how many troops they have. Just under 10,000. And speaking of which, what we need to do is actually get rid of a kingdom title here. So we want a count of some type with no claims. One province, that's possible. Two provinces, one province, there we go. Okay. Well, you're 68, you're not eligible. Sorry, dude. Uh, you can have that vice royality. Shit, they didn't really take care of our vassal problem, so what we need to do, unfortunately, again. So some of these guys are, are getting pretty old. Okay, you're only 40, so we're going to transfer you a whole bunch of vassals. Need to get rid of, what, four more, three more, something like that. Um, transfer a couple more. At this point, I don't really care who takes them. As long as they're not going to die. Like, anytime soon. Um, let's transfer you. I don't want to give the Pope any, any vassals. Because they're not going to revert back to me. That'd be awful. I don't want to make, like, a super, like, battle Pope. Okay, we've got this man here. Okay. And as far as the rest of these troops go, let's 
so none of you guys can actually get in ships, huh? Okay. Well, I, I'll tell you guys what. Why don't you guys all come down to, say, Padua. Do the same thing we normally do with this sort of situation. And let's unpause. My biggest concern here is with the Fatimids. I don't even care about the Fatimids. I just don't want my son to inherit. That's the big thing. Okay, we have a new grandson here. Right, we have a five-year-old genius. Make me genius, babies. Do it. Come on, man. So what happened? What happened here? Wait, wait, whoa, what happened? My air died. Oh my god. What happened to my air? What happened to him? <laughs> somebody killed him. And somebody assassinated him. <laughs> oh hell yeah. So that means I didn't even need to go to this war. This didn't even need to happen. This is totally unnecessary. <laughs> well, okay then. Well then, that problem has been dealt with. Is uh, Dresden good to go? Oh, it's still uh, having problem with being sieged. Alright, you guys come down here. <laughs> I'm really surprised. Alright, this... Is there enough... There should be enough ships here. Alright. Hurry up, men. Okay. Put you guys on the ships, and then... I'm going to really have to attack the Fatimids at some point for this. Because we need to connect our lands down here. This is terrible. As a matter of fact... Let's go get our Wargle, first of all. Um, so we have this army over here. We've got a big-ass stack of troops. And you guys come down here as well. You know, why don't you guys come down here? Um, I don't even care. Just come over here and then, yeah, do that. Go, got a whole hell of a lot of troops over here to take care of Molly. To k take care of MDMA. Should be alright. Okay, where's my ships at? There we go. Get the war goal, son. I don't even want this land. I really don't. I just didn't want my piece of shit potential heir to get it. But since he died from suspicious circumstances, we're all good. 
Okay, so what I need to do here is actually split these guys up and put the other half in ships. So we don't get like crazy attrition. I think I'm running out of men. Almost. Okay, and then you guys can come right over here. Okay, so what do we, what else do we have here? We've got this stack of troops. Why don't you guys come over here and do some damage? And then let's see, what else do we have here? <laughs> I don't even care anymore, man. <laughs> we have so much stuff. I just want to move on to EU4. But I'm still trying to get the survivor achievement. So it's okay if we play a little bit of sloppy here. Throwing a whole nation of people at these at the uh, these groups. Anytime now, men. Come on. You guys come over here in this stack come over here and you need a guardian I want somebody that's content and Lombard how about somebody with high marshal and Lombard sure how's our situation over here going All right, when you guys start to assault Try to take care of this war as quickly as possible. So we got a whole bunch of prisoners here. Awesome. Here, you got 10 gold. You cheap bastard. There we go, 26. like a granddaughter or something. We have another child here who needs a guardian. That works for me. As far as these other groups go, assault men. as much money as possible here. Taking really nasty attrition over here in Mali. Assault. Assault. Assault, damn you. Taking some huge losses over here. Motherfucker. So our Viceroy of Italy just died. All of those beautiful vassals of ours. So guess what, dude? How old are you? You're 44. We want somebody that's younger. We've got our other vice royce here. You're 40. How about you? Try to keep you guys happy. Okay. Normally, you could sit here and micromanage this and actually try to spread it out some. But I'm trying to, like, ham fist this and just give the vassals away. To any old viceroy. Uh, this man here is 41. Okay. Somebody that's young. So I don't have to worry about this anymore. Okay. Four, here, here we go. 20. Or minus 10. Perfect. I'll take it.
So this group over here took some took a beating. It's fine. It's alright with me. Awesome. We just got some more tech. I'm hoping it's military points because I want to max out military organization. Let's uh, actually hard save. And let's take a look at our war over here in Mali. Um, well, we still have troops and things. You guys sail on down. And I think... <laughs> we have troops way up here. Okay. Sure. Oh, all these ships. Come over here and pick this gentleman up, please. As far as the rest of these people go. You guys come over here. I did buy a couple of retinues in between episodes too. I think I bought like three. Doesn't really make too much of a difference. Salt. There we go. The good news is, is that if we end up controlling this province here, we can actually holy war for the rest of it. We'll have access to the, was this the, I think the Gulf of Aden, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we just lost a battle. Ouch. Okay. All right, let's actually put some commanders in charge here. Somebody that actually matters. It's going to do some damage. Um, yes, put you on the flank. I don't know if we're going to actually win this battle or not. Oh, oh, wait, wait. He's surrendering. Um. No. You're going to surrender on my turn. Okay, so I have a grandson. Which grandson are you? So as far as you go... <laughs> so he inherited Barbaria. Okay. Well, fine. You only have the one daughter. So let's assign you a guardian. You know what? I'm going to make it myself because what the hell? Why not? Just in case. All right. Gurgenti has converted over to Lombard. And I got some more tech. Fabulous. Let's uh, hard save. And actually take a look at our technology screen to see what's the haps and the craps. <sighs> so nice. I really want that siege equipment, but I really want military org next. Um, since... Oh, I don't know what to do next. I was going to say Majesty would be nice, but Noble Customs would be nice too. Let's actually pause real fast. Take this big ass stack of troops here and have them assault. Will you take a piece of steel? You will. Come on, give me my piece of steel. Looks like we won this battle over here. Awesome. So just out of curiosity, where is my son? Let's actually offer no, he won't he won't even do it. Gonna uh, send him some money. Still won't do it. Okay. Um I still have some prisoners here by the way. So uh, ransom them off. And as far as our land over here goes, when you guys get on the ships. And then I'll just straight up land you guys and stand you down. Man, I have a whole bunch of... You guys are Lombard. You're Lombard, but... 
I have to be at peace. Okay, what about the rest of these guys? Okay, you're Somali. I'm gonna revoke your title. And you're Lombard. Lombard and Shiite. Let's uh, seek some treatment for my gout. guys assault as well. Awesome. Okay, can you guys can actually s come over here to our lands and then do it. Then as far as Let's see here, I own Dresden still, which unfortunately... You know what? You guys get in the ships, sail on down, and as far as this group over here... You guys done a good job, but we don't need you anymore. So, put you over here on land, of course. Okay, so I just got some barony. Right, it's for uh, this province over here. So I have Hamburg. Um a vessel and then we still have Dresden but I can't actually get rid of it because of this try to plot to kill him I don't think that's gonna actually work so we're just gonna have to let it go through unfortunately assault men destroy let's uh, usurp a title Cartley. So where is it at? Uh, Duchy of Cartley. Okay. Got a couple people here. You've got seven. You've got ten. I like you. Let's do you. And your Lombard. Um, Duchy. And there you go, sir. You guys are headed to here. sure that I actually stand on all of my troops properly over here. Okay, you guys are still waiting. You guys can be stood down. So I'm gonna you. You. Put you all right over here. As a matter of fact, let's take all of our ships that we have available. This will help us out when it when we get to EU4. Coming down here to the African provinces. So we only have the one the one man to actually ransom off. bunch of truce here that are about to finish up to expire Just 
just waiting for that other assault. Uh, let's. I think that's our army. These guys are definitely tenacious. Okay, so we just inherited the kingdom of Bulgaria. Instead of giving it away to somebody else, let's just uh, transfer some vassals. That's probably the better course of action here. Um, okay, you can take that kid, and let's give you one more. Let's do it by opinion. There's a sub vassals here that I don't really care about about this man. And there you go. We're gonna hard save here. Assault. 98%. One more assault and we should be good to go. There we go. 100%. I'll take it. I'll take my land, sir. Why, thank you. Awesome. So we own lots and lots of of the known world I think as soon as our man here dies which is could potentially be for a while I mean we have some pretty amazing stats except for the gout if that doesn't have oh, you oh snap look at that our truce with the Aztecs is over that means the Aztec Empire or the excuse me the Aztec Emperor has died <laughs> it's a white guy now <laughs> oh I love it well goodbye piety hello papal claims because that's what we're gonna do next um, let's first of all let's stand everybody down you know what I don't really care I'm sure some of these guys are still on ships whatever stand out all everything <laughs> hard save and that's where I call it an episode and the next one we are going to have some genocide baby we are going to declare war for the rest of the Aztec Empire we're going to get rid of these guys they only have let's see here a few more provinces in mainland Europe let's see here one two three four maybe five six um let's say or they got the they got desmond uh they got over here in what was it england a couple provinces over here iceland of course and then some of these random scandinavian counties and then that's it <laughs> i'll take it i'll take it baby that's what we're gonna do next that's my main goal is to get rid of these guys and it's still it's still 1367. We haven't even hit 1400 yet, and we're going to do it. I think that if we end up taking out the Aztec Empire completely from this game, and as long as something like major and stupid doesn't happen, our next target is obviously going to be the Seljuks, because of course it is. But other than that, you know, I mean... It's world domination. I don't know how interesting that is to you guys. You guys should probably let me know whether or not you guys really want me to actually record the rest of this campaign. I really want to, but I understand that it can be quite boring to just watch me steamroll everybody else and then export into EU4. I think I'm going to because this is like my first full ck2 campaign on youtube this is definitely not my first ck2 campaign in game just by myself but anyways enough digressing i'll see you guys next time in the next episode we are going to dip our hand into that bag of aztec crisps and we're gonna munch away 
until the entire bag is gone, crumbs and all. So I'll see you guys then. Take care and have a good one.